the first thing you might need to do um, when you're working with this technique is to interpret your footage properly. Um, to do this, we right click or control click on our bride footage and we go to the interpret footage settings main and this brings up an information dialog that will allow us to change some settings. Now generally DV um, NTSC footage is set to lower fields first and we actually don't want to use it in that particular way. We want to set it to separate fields off and this way when we look at our video we're able to see both fields. Now to start all you need to do is take this scan lines PSD that I provided in the tutorial and drag it down on top of your video. Uh, go ahead and line that up with the zero mark and then what we're going to do is we're going to change the track mat of our original footage and we're going to change the track mat to luma mat scan lines and what that's going to do basically is key out every other line. Um, if we change the luma mat to the inverted mat it will basically do upper field first and if we change it to just the luma mat it will do lower fields first so that's kinda handy to be able to change change that dynamically or on the fly at any time you want so as you can see that every other line is in fact transparent so the next step in this deinterlace process is to pre-compose these two elements to do that we're gonna select both of these layers by holding down shift and then I'm gonna go up to the layer window and go down to pre-compose and it only allows us to move this into a new composition, and that's what we want to do. So let's go ahead and name this Deinterlace Comp, and go ahead and hit OK. So now what I want to do is I want to take this instance of this Deinterlace Comp, and I want to duplicate that. So let's go Edit, Duplicate. And now the next thing I want to do is make up the data for every other line. And to do that, we're going to select the lower composition and we're going to add a blur directional blur effect to it so go ahead and click on directional blur and for the properties in here we want to go ahead and set the blur length to one pixel and so as you can see now we're we're starting to blend the data in between every other line now the only problem here is it's still a little bit transparent so what we need to do is we need to boost the alpha of this particular layer so to do that, select the layer and then go up to adjust levels and in the levels parameters we're going to go down to the alpha channel and we're going to grab this uh, node here and we're going to boost this up to almost as far as we could go. And as you can see, now the image is back to a normal alpha. It's 100% uh, opaque so that this is, you know, this would be an output type video. And as you can see, our data has been interpolated so this technique is nice to know just because it doesn't cost you anything and it really makes really really nice results so as you can see our video is now perfectly um, deinterlaced and let's go ahead and make a preview check it out so this technique can also be used on on long projects you know um, right now we're just working with one clip but say we wanted to apply this technique to say a 30 second spot with maybe 20 or so edits to do that all we would do is take our our edit and put it into a pre-composition and that way when we do the scan lines technique it will basically be working with an instance of your entire project so you really you would only have to do it once another technique that you could do on top of this is adding an adjustment layer and and then go ahead and uh, add another instance of the directional blur and make it say um, 0.5 pixels and what that will do is kind of eliminate any um, any problems with watching it on an NTSC monitor that you might have um, it does soften it slightly but when you're watching it on a TV monitor I think it might it might make it less flickery and, and less sharp around the the bright contrasted areas so that's just another another technique that you can try but it's not totally necessary so good luck